Hey friends, it's Rafi at Zurb, and in this week's lesson, we're gonna talk about foundations breakpoints. Now, a breakpoint is pretty much the same thing as a media query. And a media query is what makes responsive web design happen. It basically checks with the browser and finds out what size or width the screen is at. So that way it could tell if it's on a mobile device or maybe a tablet or maybe a desktop screen and then adjust the CSS accordingly. So I'm gonna recap how media queries work in case that's new to you and I'm also gonna show you how to use Foundation's breakpoint makes sense to really get the media queries that you need for your project. So let's hop into it. All right, so a media query is the heart of responsive design. And the thing that really makes that work is this viewport meta tag. So I just downloaded a fresh version of Foundation 6. This is the CSS version. If we open up the index page, you have the head of the document. In here, there's a really important tag. It's called the viewport meta tag. And if you want responsive design to work, you need to have this in the head of your document. Now, if you're using the SAS version of Foundation, it's found in the default layout, which I'll show you in a moment. So as long as you have this, you can now report the window size or the viewport size of the device that you're on. So that's basically the size of the window of the device. So your media queries take that reporting of the width of that device and based on that, they can affect the CSS inside. So for example, if I have my body, uh, then I want to change the background and the text color, I can do that inside of a media query. Now this CSS will only take into effect up to a maximum width of 39.9375M. Now, if you're not comfortable or familiar with M, you can use a non-responsive unit like pixels. So you can say 640 pixels. Now, what this doesn't allow you to do is scale up and down based on the user's zooming level. So using a relative unit like this is a lot better practice. Now, if you want to find all those breakpoints and the default foundation breakpoints, uh, they're in the documentation. I'll show you right now. So in the foundation docs, if you scroll down to media queries here, you can find the default media queries. Now these are the type of media queries you would use in a standard CSS project, and then you would wrap your styles inside of them. So if you want to target small only, it's right here. Medium and up is here. Now medium and up uses a min width, so that's at a minimum of 40M in this case, and on up, do these styles, is what it says basically. And then there's also a media query here that you can copy and use, which is min width 40 up to a max width of 63.9. So this allows you to target a specific range for medium only, and then the same goes for large and up. Now you can write your own custom media query, so you just use the same syntax here and then change the number to whatever you want to fit your needs. Now we're gonna hop over to the SAS version of Foundation and show you how to really soup up your breakpoints. Okay, so this is the SAS version of Foundation and this is a typical project here with the default layout. So the default layout is what holds the head tag, and this is what's repeated on every page that you create. So you can see that this also shares the same viewport meta tag that makes responsive design work. So now we're gonna hop over to the settings file and show you how to manipulate your breakpoints and really get what you actually want. So if we scroll down, and this is the Zurb stack, so about line 91 in the settings file, you have your breakpoint settings. So this is a SAS map, and a SAS map allows you to add, remove, or change your settings very quickly and create new classes. Let me show you how that's done. 
So right here, I can change these values to be any breakpoint I want. Now, breakpoint just means that when the media query kicks in. So these are min widths. So medium starts at a min width of 640 pixels. Large starts at a min width of 1024. So the range in between is the medium range. So 640 up to 1023.999 is the medium range. Now I can change these to anything I want and you can do this at any time and just really get it the way that you want it. Now beyond that, we can also add new breakpoints. So if we need something in between small and medium, let's say this is too big of a gap, we can go ahead and add another one. I'm gonna call it Smedium. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to set it to be 440 pixels. So every, every uh, part of the map needs a comma in between. And so now I've set Smedium to be 440 pixels. So now I can use this in the breakpoint mix-in, which I'll show you here in a moment. But I can also add the class. So if I go down to the breakpoint classes section and I add Smedium here, now I have access to Smedium in my grid. So if I want to write uh, some HTML that says like row and then I want to do uh, medium dash for columns, I can totally do that. So this allows me to use my new grid classes and sizes uh, based on that new media query that I've added or that new breakpoint. Okay, so I have my website here and it has this nice hero unit. Now I might want to change the background on different screen sizes, or I could really change any CSS on different screen sizes. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the foundation breakpoint mixin to do that. So we'll hop over to our code. And this hero is using this modifier class here to set the background, and then the background size and the color. Now we can override any of these based on a media query. So we're gonna do this mobile first. So we're gonna say that the current background is the default background on small. So we're gonna override this for medium and up. So we're gonna say at include breakpoint. And then we're going to put parentheses there and open our brackets. Inside the parentheses is where we put one of our named breakpoints. So one of our named breakpoints is any of the ones that we looked at in the settings file. So small, medium, medium, large, extra large, and extra extra large. So if we hop over to our code, we can go ahead and choose one of these. Now I'm going to choose medium because I want this to change the background on medium and larger. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a background image in there. And I might change this to center. Okay, so this media query or this breakpoint mixin is wrapping this piece of CSS and basically it's creating an override. So once we hit the medium breakpoint and larger, uh, it's going to take effect and do this background. And the reason it only says medium is because this is mobile first. So medium means medium and greater. Now we could do medium only and that would do medium only and not large and not small. And once we save that, now let's hop over to our example. So you can see that the background has now changed. So I expect this to be the background on medium and larger. Until we get down to a small screen, it should show the original Lego man background. So we're gonna scale this down here and you can see that that totally works. 
All right. So, so far, so good. We've been able to use the breakpoint mixin to change the background. Now, I can go ahead and change this to medium only, but I can also do another thing. I can change this to medium down. So, this is a really neat trick that the breakpoint mixin can do. It's a lot harder to do. Uh, when foundation five, and it's also a lot harder to do in regular um, media queries. So we're gonna go ahead and say medium down. So now I expect it to be the space background on a medium screen and smaller. So we have our background image here, and then on medium, we have the space image, and all the way down to small, we also have the space image. Now you can also do landscape and portrait in this breakpoint mixin. So uh, you might use this, especially if you're targeting a phone or a tablet. So you can do at breakpoint landscape, at breakpoint portrait, and then target some specific CSS inside of that. So definitely can do it both ways with landscape or portrait. Now, another thing that you can target with the breakpoint mixin is retina screens. So you can target specifically a retina screen and maybe change an image or an image size or something like that it would be really common on a retina screen. Now, if none of the default breakpoints work for you and you don't wanna go into the settings file and create a specific one just for like one use case. Maybe you're only adjusting the sizing of one small component. It's not worth it to create another uh, breakpoint here in the map. Then you can go back over to here and in your breakpoint mixing, you can actually specify any size you want. So I could say 700. Now, if you don't put a, a value in here, then, or sorry, a unit, then it will assume that it's pixels. So this is gonna assume 700 pixels. But you can be more explicit and put pixels in there and save that. And now it'll take effect. So this again is a min width. So from 700 pixels on up, it's going to do this. And you can also use rems. So let's say I said I want it to be 40 rem and up, it's going to do this CSS in here. So this is a really powerful breakpoint mixin. You can use it in a lot of different ways to really speed up your projects and, and get the responsiveness that you're really looking for. And again, in the settings file, you can set up those breakpoints to be exactly the way you want. The one thing I would note about SAS maps is that you need to have the first variable, which is the default variable of small, that needs to be there uh, and stay the way that it is. It can't be removed or else that would cause an error. So as long as you have small, you can add or remove the rest of the breakpoints in here as you need. And again, importing classes is done in the breakpoint classes uh, variable here and you can add or remove certain ones. The more classes that you add in here, the more CSS that it creates so that's why extra large and extra extra large are not in here by default. You would add them manually if you want to create those classes. It'll just make your CSS file a little bit bigger. So a lot of cool stuff with breakpoints and media queries. All right, so now you're a media query master. And if you wanna learn more advanced techniques, make sure you check out the advanced foundation course. I'll put the link below. I'm one of the instructors. And we put out new lessons every week, so make sure you hit subscribe up above so that way the Yeti gets a new Maserati. And I wanna thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you next week.